Hey, uh, Opie? Yeah. Uh, can you hold these for me for a minute? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Toasted peanut butter crackers. I like, I like these crackers now. You want one? No, no, um, mm. no, they're my cracker. Mm. Mm. Dad, do you have any crackers? Oh. Uh, You know what? Here's the reality. I love peanut butter crackers. I really do. I like peanut butter crackers. But you know what? Here's the problem. When Lydia came and brought me the crackers, they weren't my crackers. She said just hold them for, for her a little bit. And I guess she had plans for those crackers. Plans that Josiah came in and he said, hey, can I have a cracker? And there weren't any crackers left because I didn't hold them in the right way. I didn't sit there and I didn't use the crackers the way that I was supposed to use them. You see, I was supposed to hold them and then give them to Josiah when he came and needed them. But they were gone because I didn't do it the right way. Well, tonight I want us to talk about a word and it's called stewardship. Now you're sitting there saying, stewardship? Wait a second, what is that? Is that like, that's a mouse in a, in a book I once read or something like that, like a little steward or whatever. No, it's, it's not a mouse. It's a word that's talked about in Scripture that we are to be good stewards. Okay? And what that means is this, that God has given us all kinds of things in our lives. God has given us talents. You know, God has given us gifts in our lives. God has blessed us with so many things in our lives. I just want you to do this. Wherever you are watching this video, I want you to look around for a second and see all of the things that you have in your life. Now you may, sit, you may sit there and go, well, I don't have huge things, I don't have big things. Yeah, but you may have just the small things that God has blessed you with. I mean, just look around you. God has blessed you with some place to live. God has blessed you with food to eat. God has blessed you with some toys around you. I know you all got toys. And God has given us so much stuff in our life. He's given you time on your hands right now, more time than you probably ever want. But God has given us so much in our life. And it's up to us to use those things in the way that God would want us to use them. Listen to 1 Peter okay, 4.10. It says this, each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. You see, when I was given the peanut butter cracker, crackers, it was, it, what, the way I was supposed to use that is to then give them to Josiah. They weren't really my crackers to begin with. I was just holding them for a little bit and then giving them to Josiah because he really needed them. I didn't really need the crackers. I wanted them, but I didn't really need them. And that's what it means to be a good steward. It means that God has given us things so that we can turn around and bless other people. You know, like I mentioned this before, some of you can sing amazing. Elena helped us in worship last week and it was amazing. She did a great job singing with her dad. God has gifted her with the ability to sing and just sing like a songbird. I mean, she's amazing singing. Okay, and this past Sunday, she, you, she used those gifts that God has given her to bless other people and to serve God in a great, great way this past Sunday by leading us in worship. And all these different things, and you may be blessed with something different. You may not be able to sing at all. Trust me, I know. Okay, I'm with you, all right? You may not be able to sing at all, but maybe you can draw. Maybe you can, you can do math in your head. It's just an amazing way. Maybe that, that you can name every bone in the body. Maybe it is that, that just, you know, you can, you can run real fast. Whatever gifts and talents that God has given you, you can use to turn around and to help other people, to bless other people. Okay, and, and here's the cool thing about this. Listen to this. God has given you the gift 
so that you can pass it on to the people around you. But wait a second, it doesn't stop there. Okay, when you pass it off to the, the people around you, you use the gifts to bring honor and glory to God. That's the final thing that we're supposed to do. Is it, it's not that we can sit there and say, well, I can sing really, really beautiful. Look at me, look at me. Oh, I'm amazing. Amazing. Okay, I told you I couldn't sing. But you, you don't just sit there and, and make it all about you with the gifts that God has given you. No, you use those to, to share with other people. And when they come to you and say, man, that was amazing. You sounded so good. You can turn around and say, well, just I was blessed in a great, great way by God. It's really cool how he allows me to do these things. And by doing that and, and by putting God first and us second, we bring glory and honor to him because people will look at him and say, what a great God to be able to gift that person with music. What a great God to be able to gift that person with being able to run fast. What a great gift I and mean, what a great God it is to gift that person that they can draw in the most amazing way. You see, we've been given so much in our life and we need to make sure that, that we don't just sit there and hold it to ourselves and, and not do anything with it, but that we need to bless other people with it. You know, I, I'll tell you, if you can, if you sing, man, sing somebody a song. Call them up and just sing a song to them. If you can draw or color really well, maybe take a picture and color it or draw a picture and, and send it to someone. I know in our house, our great-grandma, uh, Josiah and Kayla's great-grandma, Grandma Ann, uh, down in Florida, they just made some artwork and, and Josiah drew, drew her a great car and it was beautiful and we just mailed it off to her. We've been blessed. And so we are going to bless the people around us. And when she calls and says, Oh, I love it. I love the coloring. I love the, the little thing that I can hang in my window. And we can have the opportunity to say, You know what? God has blessed us in a great, great way. So just remember that. What you have been given isn't yours. It's yours just to hold on for a little bit and then to give away to the people around us. So I hope you, that, that kind of gives you a better understanding of, of when you hear the word stewardship. Stewardship, it may sound like a big, big word, ooh, stewardship. But all that means is this, that we take what God has given us and we use it in the right manner, in the right way. So thank you guys. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you are just, you know, just just having so much fun with, with being home and or being at the babysitters or, or wherever you are, wherever you're spending time. I hope that, uh, that you're having a great, great blessed week, okay? Know that I love you. Know I miss you. I cannot wait to give you guys hugs. I'm a hugger, okay? I love to hug, and I can't wait to give you guys a hug and to hear what all you're doing and everything like that. I hope you're doing just fantastic. I love you guys. Can't wait to be with you, okay? Have a great night. And uh, just be blessed and understand that you are to be a blessing to the people around you. Love you guys.